where in the Star Trek universe are we gonna do our next Lego mock? So last week on the Star Wars Lego Hoth mock, we added lights to Echo Base, the medical bay, and the Mandalorian Ice Spider Cave. So lots of lights. And with three weeks left, or three episodes left, we still have to do the back of the Ion Cannon, which includes finishing the top of the Shield Generator Mountain, and we have some Greeble work to do, including kind of cleaning up the back of the trench, where the Rebels are valiantly defending Hoth against the oncoming Imperial's onslaught, which Dak has already fallen victim to. No! So in a slight change of plans, because we had to fix up our lighting, which is actually now completely fixed. You can actually see the Tauntauns back in there. We are gonna wait another week before we do this. So this week, it's Greeble Week. Greeble, Greeble. And this is our last Greeble Week on Hoth. So all you Greeble Monster lovers will have to wait until future mocks to get more of the Greeble monster, but he is here today. Greeble, 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 Greeble. And yes, I still hate him. So with that, let's get building. So a few weeks ago, we added some really good snowy detail in the area of the mock that I call the probe droid attack. We added cheese pieces, lots of one by one round studs, and it's to give it a look that there's actually a storm going on. It's hard to show snow above and like swirling, so the, really all we can do is with the groundwork. So we wanna do something similar right along here, just to greeble up the ground so it looks a little more stormy, a little more snowy, a little more out there, out in the wilds of Hoth. I guess it'd be more like the snowy tundra of Hoth. And then later on in the episode, we're gonna do a little more cleanup here to make this look a little more uniform. It's a little choppy here. Doesn't look natural. Looks more just like Lego bricks stacked. So stick around for that. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the episode because we're placing minifigures down. And once again, don't forget to subscribe because in a few short weeks, we are doing the cinematic finale of the Hothmock. And also beyond that, you're going to want to stay subscribed because we have more mocks coming. The immediate one, which is coming in October, is our UCS trench run. So with that, let's cut over to our step one, which is greebling up our three scenes. Wampa attack, Luke gets shoved inside of a tauntaun, and we have to greeble up Ghost Ben telling Luke to go visit a little goblin looking uh, green Yoda guy. Right, to blend from the open bright area of Hoth to the snowy encounter with Ghost Ben, we transition from plain white plates to more textured greeble. So it gives it a little more like snowstormy look, which we are gonna carry on down to the next area. Where Han sliced open the Tauntaun and shoved Luke inside. Uh, I think that's a little bit like chicken cordon bleu. Isn't that where they like put ham inside of the chicken? Like Luke inside of the Tauntaun? Anyways, that's getting a little cannibalistic. So let's keep building Greeble on down the line. Greeble, Greeble. Right, as we move on down the Greeble line, we have built the snowy weather front all the way up to just this side of the Wampa attack. So we're gonna keep moving down. I think I am gonna put a little structure here just to separate the two. I was gonna do it between these two, but kind of wanted it to be open, a little more open. So I'm gonna build a little tiny mountainous structure here very similar to what Chewbacca's hiding behind. So let's build that guy and keep on moving. Just gonna 
make a little cavern-like formation. So it's hard to believe we are coming down to the very end of Hoth. I've been working on this thing for two years, putting on lots of white bricks, lots of greeble. I gotta be honest, I'm completely sick of seeing white bricks. I now uh, just see white in my sleep. some special guests coming next week for the uh, second to last building episode of Hoth. You know, the finale we have, uh, there's no building in the finale, it's just pure cinematic goodness. We do have some guests coming, actually not next week, two weeks. We've got our Discord moderators coming to uh, inspect the Hoth mock, the final inspection before it uh, goes live cinematically so Josh Lind and Target Legend will be joining us along with assistant all right I'm going to go take a look over at the Chewbacca one just to see how much detail we have on there I want to keep it kind of similar so I'm gonna go look at the Chewbacca hill the probe droid hill and see how close we're getting. All right, this one is a little more slopey, but that is because we have more room to work with, but I kind of like it. I'm gonna add some more cheese pieces on top, maybe a couple of more one by two slope pieces, just to make it look more like of a mound. Let's put this guy right here. Mound it down. Get some cheese pieces in there. Putting greeble might not look fun. It's actually pretty cool. And you can use pure creativity. Just putting different pieces here and there just to give it the look you want. So even though it's a little boring, something relaxing about greeble, except when that freaking greeble monster shows up. I hate that guy. Greeble, greeble. All right, well, I think that is going to about do it. Now we have to carry on all the way to about there because I don't want to disrupt the tracks leading to the horrific display where the Wampa just tore this guy to pieces. All right, there is the Greeble along there. Look at the shiny little snow bits from the cheese pieces. I think that looks pretty good. Again, I ended it there because I wanted to see the distinct tracks leading to the uh, Rebel Trooper Carnage. Gross. So I think that looks pretty good. I do have one more little greeble area. I'm just gonna quickly spruce that up a bit. Looking a little flat. Just a couple of greeble pieces in there because these guys have been tromping around in the snowman and this guy's like, no, get back to work. All right, so nothing crazy there. Just a little greeblage. Oh no, the nose fell out of the snowman. That's no good. There we go. There we go, snowman all better. Get back to work! All right, in similar fashion, I'm gonna do a little mountain work here. Just to fill this in, it looks a little clunky, a little chunky, some more slow pieces. Then I'm gonna sporadically put a little greeble here. Now, this is meant to be more clear and smooth, so I'm not gonna do a ton, but just a little greeble here and there. All right, there is the refinements, greeble refinements, I guess you could say. Greeble, greeble. I think they look pretty good, looks much better than it was before. So that is gonna do it for the build portion of the video, but we still have to put some minifigures down. And we have another squad of snowtroopers that we're gonna lay on the board today. 
But we also have a special surprise. We have not put a main character on the board in a while, and we have one last main character to go on the board, and that is Crapper C-3PO. No sidearm printing, nothing fancy. Yeah, just Crapper C-3PO. And we're gonna show you we're gonna put him in a minute, but first, let's put down our snow troopers. So we already have a couple of squads of snow troopers on the board. One on the right here, some in the middle, with this guy checking out Dax's crash ship. Now we need one along this side. And I wanted to have one guy peeking into the Wampa Cave. So this is where I'm gonna lay these guys down. All right, so these guys are running alongside the walkers here. And this guy is peeking into the Wampa Cave. Wouldn't go in there, buddy. All right, so there's the first batch of minifigures. And now we need to put down Crapper C-3PO. So as you can see, we have R2-D2 out here using his little radar dish to find his, his master Luke, who uh, is lost, but also like keeping tabs of the battle. And in the scene, C-3PO is standing right behind him making some snide comments about how stupid he is. So that is where our Crapper C-3PO is gonna go. And that means that is our last main character that is going on the mock. So with that, guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. And I gotta say, our Hoth mock is definitely coming along. We've definitely built this thing out of Legos. And I gotta say, with all of the details that we've been adding in week by week, the mock is really starting to come together and really starting to shine. It really does seem like everywhere you look around the mock, there is tons of details that grab your eye and you know just kind of pull you into a scene and I really do like that um, I think that that is one of the the coolest things about this mock is all of the little details and all the little scenes that are scattered throughout it so if you enjoyed today's video make sure to stay tuned for the finale because we're going to go over all of it we're going to show all those little details I know we haven't been really great about showing stuff we do um, we're still learning so I do apologize about that but you know it's gonna be a great time, so stay tuned and we will see ya in the next one.